Hi guys and welcome back to another review video. So I've just taken my name and address off there and stuff. I know it's from Phoenix because it was on the label. Um, I think I know part of what's in here. Uh, she, she, bless her, she thought that she'd send me all of her brushes but she's only sent me one. So, because um, I just asked if I could re review the a number 14 I think it was and a 3D brush and she was like, well where have them brushes gone then because I sent them to somebody. <laughs> Oh bless her. Oh I've got Nikki with an X on. <laughs> Alright. Oh, oh I love these. It's like Christmas. You ready? I've got to get rid of the worm not worms, the these first. Oh. oh she's put me some more of these in. Oh. These are wax melts. And I, I Oh my god, they smell like gorgeousness. Just like gorgeous. So I'll have to wade through all this and get the wax melts out, definitely. Alright, so we've got some more. These look like raw glitters. Okay, cool. Oh, there's loads of them, yes. And we have some more acrylic. Well, that was loud. Acrylic powders. Ooh, lovely. Oh, wow, what's this? They look like cuticle oils, but they don't actually say. Okay, we'll have a look at them. And then we have this. I'm so sorry you can't see, and I'm banging on the thing. It's always so beautifully presented, even down to the, this paper, it's so nice. Even though like she's sending them to me, she's still, at, at present, presentation is everything. All right, I am at some point going to use this paper inside my nails and I really hope that it stays like this. Have a look at these. Oh, it is. So this is peach cuticle oil. I have never in all my years of doing nails seen a cuticle oil like this there is loads in there at the moment i have literally got this one and this one the red off somebody but and, and i'm adding cuticle oil in into that because they're all flowers uh they're off somebody and this one from model ones because i do like these but i have never seen one like this oh my goodness okay so the lid's easy enough to get off look they've got that little tiny hole there Oh, I like! Oh my god, that... Oh, that is just peach! Oh, I like that! Oh my god, you can smell it from here. And then you put the top back on. Oh my god, I love that. Alright, so this one is almond cuticle oil. So I'm going to put that on my other hand. Oh my god, that just smells like macaroons. That it is macaroons. Oh my goodness, wow, okay. I've never smelled a cuticle oil like macaroons. It's like you can eat it. Oh my God. At least I've got a few cuticle oils keep me going now, I'll keep these out. Oh my God, they're lovely. Really impressed with them. All right, I want to see what's in here. I was going to leave it till last, but I can't help it. So I think these are all of the brushes. I mean, look at that. Thank you for supporting my small business. I love Rachel. She is one of the nicest people I think I've ever met. She really, because she used to, remember the days when she used to just do pure glitters? I mean, they were stunning. I love them. And then she got into acrylics. Oh, yes. Oh, look at the beautiful sight that is that. that be look at the beautiful sight that beholds in front of my face. Alright, so I'm not sure whether the size tw 12 is any because I've already got it. No, okay, so I'm going to put this one in with the packs. I'm not going to keep these these long things that, that come with it because it's pointless. So we've got number 10, 12, 4, oh god, 2, 14, and the last one is, oh my lord, 16. All right, so let's have a look at these. So straight off, I would say some of these aren't my cup of tea. But again, if everybody was the same, life would be boring. So I'm gonna uh, show you, I'm gonna show you these different than I usually would. I'll show you in a minute. But this one's called Golden Sea, Treasure Chest, Golden Paradise, Peachy, <laughs> it's, it's not itchies and cream, it's peaches and cream. I'm just about to see where the pea should be there. Pink lemonade, orange aid, 
and limeade all right what i'm going to do first okay i'm start again i'm going to use the number 16 brush because i'm really interested in how i'm going to cope with the size 16 brush but i'm just gonna i should have gone like this first to get the glue off but i didn't which makes it harder to get the glue off So you can still, I don't, you can still see the little bits of glue in there. If it had just gone like this, it would have come out. I will show you again when I do, when I use a size 14, I'll um, do it properly. I don't know what made me just dip it in that liquid. It's not what you're supposed to do. Anyway, stupid is, stupid does, sir. That's actually a really nice size, isn't it? Again, how, how you know if it's a really good brush. It's darker at the tip than it is in the, of the base of the brush. All right, so what I'm going to do, oh, I need clear. I'm using Phoenix's Sheer Paradise, which is clear, and Phoenix's um, acrylic liquid as well. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing on this one and then I'll do it with all the rest. Instead of, wow, oh my God, there's, wow. Wow, look at that sparkle, good Lord. Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyway, right, these are like raw glitters, so you'll need either gel to, to apply them or acrylic liquid, uh, ac <laughs> acrylic powder. So I'm just going to grab some of the clear, then I'm going to dip it in here. Oh, oh my god, look at that. Oh god. And then, let me try and scoot you over here. I'm going to lay it down so you can see everything that's in this glitter and I'm going to do that with all of them I just think with the, with raw glitter sometimes they all get clumped up together inside of the jaw forms and you can't really see what's in there but oh my god that is divine that is beautiful I didn't think that would be my cup of tea but it's surprising what you find inside of these little pots when you actually open them. So this is how I'm going to go through them. I've got them off the paper. <laughs> oh, honestly. So this one is Golden Sea. Oh my God, that, that, I can't, what, what is it? It's a sparkle is utterly ridiculous. I've, I don't think I've seen a glitter sparkle this much in a very, very long time. That is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so this one is Treasure Chest. This probably is one that isn't my cup of tea, but as I said, n not everybody's the same. Somebody might absolutely love this. And with them being raw glitters, you can stick them in anything, or should I say you could use them with anything. You can use them in polygel, 
gel, acrylic, dipping powders even if you if you fathom it out. All right, let's look at this beauty. This one is Golden Paradise. Look at them twinkle, twinkle little stars. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but they are so blingy in your face gold. This next one is called Peaches and Cream. All these have got amazing sparkle on them. Oh my goodness. I don't know whether it's because it's the way I'm doing it, like just raw glitter on some paper, but these are glistening so much better than they would do in the dual forms. I like doing it this way. You'll have to let me know, guys, if you like me doing it this way with the raw glitters. Okay, the next one is Pink Lemonade. This one doesn't sparkle as much, but you've got the them things in there that change, like, what I'm trying to say, like the light goes from one, one side to another. There's a word for it, but I can't think what word it is. But that is definitely, the majority of it is pink in real life, but orange on camera. <laughs> This next one is Orange Aid. And look at that colour transfer. Oh my god. Colour shift is the word of my oh that look if you put, if I put it this way, it looks like a cow. <laughs> that well that's a sort of a head. And it's body and like little tiny 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 legs anyway. That's quite amusing. Uh, but yeah, definitely orange jade she's definitely got that right that is that is really really pretty and very unusual and then the last one that looks like a map of somewhere <laughs> is uh, limeade again these color shifting glitters are awesome just look at them go but yeah they're nuts love how they do that just look at them oh my god all right so these ones are the powders can't even see what's in that one. Oh my good lord. Okay, so the first one I'm going to be doing in some dual forms is Fly By Night C Cedar Cedar. I don't usually get stuck with five letter words, but there you go. <laughs> Reggae Raspberry Ripple. Now these are all planet names. So this one is Pluto, Neptune, Mars, Earth, and Jupiter. Right, before I start, I'm going to get the number 14 brush this time. I know there's some hairs here and there, but you can just cut them off. Right, what you're supposed to do is just mush it between your fingers to get all the glue off. It never used to be this easy, by the way, when, when I first started doing nails. They used to put that much glue on these brushes and it used to take forever. To get the glue out now you literally get get between your fingers and get the glue out and when you think all of it's out then i'm gonna dip it in the acrylic liquid and just pat it down nicely and then it's back into shape and ready to use So as I've said, I'm going to do these using Madame Glam's dual forms as well as again Phoenix Glitters liquid and they're clear. And let's, I don't think I'll need the clear just in case I, I just want to encapsulate something for making it a little bit thicker for getting out the dual form. But apart from that, I'm just going to use the liquid with these acrylic powders and let's see what colours come out of these ones.
All right, I don't usually talk when I'm doing these, but oh my God, what is in this one? Oh my life. I mean, that Pluto was something else what I've just done, but oh my goodness, what is this? They are really pigmented, by the way, these. I've uh, had to change the kitchen towel more than once. Oh my God, no, there's blue in it. <gasps> oh my God, instantly is galaxy nails. Oh my goodness, Rach, seriously, what have you done? Oh, oh look at that. Seriously guys, in real life, this looks unbelievable. Holy crap. This is the most unusual glitter mix I have ever used. Look at it, guys. Look at it move. You've only got to tip it slightly. That isn't the acrylic moving. That is the movement of the acrylic. Holy shit balls. That is unbelievable. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the other three look like of these planet names. All right, so this one I did like this because it's fly by night and it's got obviously that's a good name for this fly by night because it's a load of butterflies. But there's there's that glitter in it. It's just I wish I could pull this paper off so you can see the glitter. But you can see it on some of the butterflies anyway. That's why I did it on it because if I did it in a dual form, they'd all just be like crumpled up together and you won't be able to see them separate. But there's little butterflies, there's big butterflies. There's hexagons in there, whatever these white things are there. There's loads and loads and loads of stuff in there. All right, the next one is cedar. And as I said, the, the next three coming up are really, really pigmented. And oh my God, you can see why. Look at that brown. That is like brown, brown. So the next one is rigor. Oh my god, these are just so true to the colours. It's coming off a darker red than on screen. Again, it's a, it, sometimes it doesn't show the true colour on this camera. But it's definitely a darker red than what you're seeing right now. The next one is Raspberry Ripple. Oh my god. Yeah, that is... Oh, there we go. Definitely a raspberry colour. But all of them are just so colourful and pigmented and opaque. They are so, so good. Right, we're on to the planets now. So this one is Pluto. Now I have, I'm not going to lie, I have had another colour like this and it wouldn't dry. For love and money, it wouldn't dry. So I'm sort of glad when I just like snapped this that it was dry. But... That is like, oh, let's see if we can, there we go. That's like a really shimmery silver colour. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Perhaps you can see it a little bit better now. Mm -hmm. 
Right, so this one was Neptune, the one which I can't... Okay, see there, you can't see much. It's just a shimmer black, but when you turn it over, which that would be, that would be how you put it on the nail, you can see all the different... I'm going to put some top coat on there because I really want to see what that looks like when it's glossy. It's, it looks so much better when it was wet. You could see the blues and the purples in, in with the black. So I'm going to put top coat on that in a minute. Right, the next one is Mars. And this is this... Let me get that off. This is sort of the same. That... Did you, did you notice though, when I was doing this, this colour, the screen went really dark? It's because it's that orange. And you can see little bits of glitter in there. But when you turn it over, you can really see what is in this glitter mix. Again, I think with these planet ones, I am going to pour a top coat on underneath. Because as I said, this is what you would see on top of the nail. The next, I mean, look at that. Look how gorgeous that is in there. This one is Earth. Okay, so with this one, wow, what is wrong with my camera? With this one, you can see what's inside because there's a, a bit more glitter in this one, like the silvery glitter. But as you turn it over, that is just absolutely stunning. And then the last one is Jupiter. Now this one had got stars in it. Again, you can see a few stars on that side, but the party's going on inside. <laughs> if we can, real focus. If you can see them stars in there, I can see them in real life. Uh, but the stars are quite similar to the colour of the glitter mix. Right, so I'm going to put some top coat on the Neptune, Mars, Earth and Jupiter. And let's see what these look like nice when they are nice and glossy. All right, so the last things I want to show you, no, the number 12 I use all the time anyway, so this is a number 10. And then I'm just gonna quickly get the glue out of this one. You can see the glue more on that one, look at that. If you don't rub it off first, all this goes in your acrylic liquid. And it takes forever to get out. It's going everywhere, I can see bits of stuff everywhere. Then there is the number four. Some of these lids are quite stiff, by the way. Look how pointy that is, good lord. Okay, so that's what the number 10 looks like. I will compare it to the one that, the number 12, which is the one that I use quite a lot, because obviously 12 is after number 10. No shit, Sherlock. Because obviously 12 is after number 10. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me! Mine, which is this one, thicker, more br more bristles wise than the number 10. It hasn't got as many bristles as what I'm trying to say. And it is a little bit shorter. The number 10 is a bit shorter. So that is the difference between the number 10 and 12. So this one here is number 12 where I use, and this is number 14. Now you can definitely tell a bit of difference between 12 and 14 which I, did, I wanted a bigger brush anyway. When you're doing encapsulating, I wanted, I wanted to try a bigger brush so it's not so many balls of acrylic. But yeah, that one is, there's a definite difference in the number 12 to the number 14, as you can see there. So as you can see, number 14 and number 16, 
is the difference of I, I would say how many bristles are in, in the brush and the number 16 again is a little bit longer than the 14 so this one is number 2 and number 4 and there you can see the difference in them I would say these are mainly for doing 3D work but you know if you want to use number 4 for acrylic application there's no reason why you can't again I would use both of these for 3D work and I will definitely be using these from now on alright guys well that is most of the things that I've got from Phoenix the other two things are obviously their cuticle oils which is peach which is gorgeous by the way and almond which smells like macaroons 100% they're macaroons I love Phoenix glitter stuff anyway I always have as long as she's ever done not just pure glitter I've always loved Phoenix glitter and then obviously she's into everything now the brushes the acrylics the liquid she's built herself up literally from nothing and they are such good quality I cannot tell you how good they are so I will leave Phoenix Glitter's link in the description box, but it's all always there anyway. Can't remember if I've got a discount code or not, so please check that out if I have. As Tesco says, Every little helps. Other than that, guys, thank you for sitting through this really long video. I know it was a long video. I don't even know what I've got on the clock right now, but I know it's a long one. Really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.